Some destination attractions get overlooked and others aren't so obvious. In fact, you might never think to visit them. Find out more on this edition of Here We Go Again. Hi, I'm Tom Cantrell. I really enjoy watching videos about the places I plan to visit. For me, it's a way to get oriented and find out what others think is special about the destination. For example, there are lots of videos about the Texas Gulf Coast town of Port Aransas on Mustang Island, the beach, souvenir shops, lodging, and restaurants. Sometimes, however, very interesting things get passed over, like the wastewater treatment plant. Pardon the pun, but a lot of visitors flock to the Port Aransas area for the incredible birding opportunities. And perhaps the best known location is at the wastewater treatment plant. The Leona Bell Turnbull Birding Center has a wheelchair accessible boardwalk that offers an up close viewing of birds, alligators, fish and more. There's also an observation tower with a panoramic view of the area and the surrounding flats. Another less aromatic birding site favorite is the Joan and Scott Holt Paradise Pond, a small freshwater oasis which offers a more intimate peek at the smaller birds that migrate through the area. There's a wheelchair accessible boardwalk with three observation decks where visitors can get a close view of migrating warblers, songbirds, and other year-round birds. We recently discovered another great site known as the Nature Preserve at Charlie's Pasture, which is a wide open wetlands park with over two miles of great hike and bike trails and viewing locations. Charlie's Pasture was once the home to a herd of 250 cattle that grazed there on a lease from the state of Texas until the law required fencing. It is a major part of the heritage of Mustang Island. Finally, Port A is home to the University of Texas Marine Science Institute's Wetlands Education Center, which offers a short circular walk around a small pond teeming with the small fish and amphibians who live there. There's often a contingent of brown pelicans, terns, and gulls just waiting for a quick bite to eat at the expense of those inhabitants. There are also native grasses and other plants that help secure the habitat from the shifting dunes. Well, there you have it. There are lots of other great places that I know we missed, so I encourage you to come to Port Aransas and find them all. For Here We Go Again, I'm Tom Cantrell. And remember, stop wishing and start traveling.